Welcome to VacNews, the video channel for industrial vacuum applications. My name is Wolfgang Wieland. We are here at a metal working company and in the production hall around me uh, is the area where sheet metal is being cut, rolled and banded, where profiles are being cut to length. And uh, sometimes these uh, components which are manufactured here need to be deburred or trimmed after uh, the cutting and bending. And this is being done with a grinding machine uh, which you can see behind me, at least if it's small components we are talking about. Um, when grinding these components, there's of course a lot of dust which is being created, and this dust needs to be extracted. That's the subject of today's video, and the dust extraction here in this company is being done with our monoblock dust extractor. You can see here the smallest member of the monoblock family, 1.5 kilowatt. The units get bigger and bigger as uh, the electric power increases, we go up to 5.5 kilowatt. And we not only go into metal working companies with these dust extractors, but also in mineral process companies. A typical example for a monoblock in a mineral company would be the dust extraction of transfer points of uh, belt conveyance. And now we would like to show you what happens when the grinding work is actually being done. We will show you this in two steps. First of all, we will not switch on the dust extractor in order to show you what happens if a grinding unit like this is not being dust extracted. And then of course the next step will be the same work again with the dust extractor so that you can see how dust extraction actually works. We will now show you how the suction material is being taken out of the unit. Please. What you can see here is the grinding dust. 100% of the suction material is here in the container. And you can also see some uh, textile components and even uh, a piece of the brush. Everything that gets loose during the grinding process is being sucked into the unit and that's how it should be. You can see here the suction inlet of the dust extractor. As you can see this is a tangential design which means that we have a cyclonic separator. Uh, the extracted dust is being slowed down uh, due to the friction, due to friction between the suction material and the wall of this container falls down, slides down into the container and only a small percentage of the fine dust goes up through the filter which is in this part of the unit. Um, we have of course also a um, filter cleaning device here on board and you can see here uh, the compressed air vessel, the compressed air container of the pneumatic filter cleaning device. What you heard before, uh, the occasional noise, that was actually the solenoid valve which opens here periodically in order to activate the filter cleaning device. The clean air, the filtered air, then goes through the blower, which is on top of the unit, and out into the work environment here. Uh, the filter is sufficient so that the air can actually be returned into the workplace. Uh, we have all filter types and filter qualities with a certificate available for the various suction material, also toxic material, can be handled with this unit. Uh, we will now switch over to another video where uh, we have uh, the same unit working at another customer in a totally different sector of industry. This is actually a mineral dust extraction, cement to be more precise. And what you will see is how cement is being filled into a cement mixer. And of course the idea is to extract the dust which goes up into the air uh, during this filling process. 
Uh, we will also show you here two steps, the video in two steps. First of all, what happens if the dust extractor is not switched on. And then the same thing again with the dust extractor running so that you can see the dust extraction effect. Have fun. That's it for today. I hope you had some good insights so that you can take away, take home some ideas for your own applications. And uh, I will see you at the next video. Thank you and bye bye.